You know, until Season 3, we haven't gotten to really know about the rest of the Misfit class. We did get a bit more of them during the Royal One arc in Season 2, but besides that, we don't really know much about them, but it's so nice that during this Harvest Festival arc, you know, and they're training with the Senseis, they're able to show us more of the characters, you know, with the training story. For example, last episode, we had Agares and Garp doing their little bromance thing. I had no idea they were best friends like that, but they are. It's really nice to see it, too. I think this episode's gonna go more as as and Sabro, right? I hope to get to see, we get to see, like, what kind of training they actually did, because I think that was the most intense of them all and what's going on with iruma i don't know let's see okay this is like the beginning of the harvest festival all right when they were like all right let's do a little competition they snuck in through as has his like flame barrier aura he's like how could it be how did you slip through my detection him oh right 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 because they were balam's previous student right they're obsessed with them take our master back what, what do you think he's do you think they took him from you? Like, what are you talking about? I want to know more about their history, though. Okay, sure. You can have him. I, I don't really care. <laughs> really? You're gonna you're gonna get provoked by this? Yeah. I thought that maybe they would be fine, you know, with the provokes. It's like whatever. We've grown up, and then maybe if they insulted their friend or like the teacher, then he'd be like, "No one does that," and then starts fighting hundred times. So just wait for them to hit 99 times, and you go for the last one. Gotcha, so they've been doing the same thing this entire time. This is interesting though, because you gotta hit 100. Whoever gets the kill steal. Now, I would just sit back and let them do all their work. Because like, it doesn't matter until the 90, like, when it gets to 99, then you gotta use everything to secure. No muscles, he's all muscles though. Maybe he's talking to Azaz. I mean, Az Azaz is probably muscular too. This guy is quite versatile though, right? He got a quick hit in and then his reach, right? Oh, he's pretty fast too. He's like pretty agile. He's like Tarzan. But I bet we're better. Razoro. Also, didn't that look like Azaz was doing like martial arts in the beginning? Maybe I'm overthinking because he was punching. Their teamwork is... Not very good. Yeah, it was never good. Compared to them, the brothers, like, our teamwork is ass. Individually, we might be better, but this is the team fight. And then they're gonna get even more frustrated and get more tilted, and it's just the fucking loop of getting even more mad and fighting the bait even more. Dorodoro brothers are looking better at the moment. But maybe during this competition and, you know, just getting angry at each other, They'll be able to surpass their limits somehow and be able to work even better together. I don't know, some kind of dumb logic like that. So it does, like, provoke them more. Okay. Okay. Damn, they did their research. They did their fucking homework. This is getting personal, man. <laughs> um, what if we hit the branch and they fall down? So it's not a direct attack, but they still get, you know, injured from the byproduct of the attack. Let's see. Well, maybe Azaz stops him. Oh, he does. Pull down! Hey, we're gonna get DQ'd, man. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, you have by Sabro. Kind of, huh? It's crazy how Sabro, like, dirt. It's hard. You would think that Sabro is a moron because he's like all muscle and big, but no, he's such a studious person. And he really surprised me in the Walter Park arc. Like, his speech to Sabro about how he should. I'm sorry, speech to Azaz about how he should run away at the moment. It's like, what is your true ambition? That surprised me. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I think I missed something while monologuing. Wait. That easily? They're getting flustered? Hold up, it's like the reverse provoke. What the fuck? <laughs> All of a sudden, they're breaking down. Okay, it might be like a very nice and wholesome story behind them. Oh, wait. Did he... Different mask back then? I'm assuming it's Balam. Uh, but... Which is a spell that forcibly causes the blood to rush to one's head? Oh. Wait, where's Furufuro at? It'd be really good for this. 
Wait, this is like a right of Fru Fru's domain. It's Kami Balam, right? But the fact that he has a mask and it's not confirming, what if it's like at the twist at the end? It actually wasn't Balam, right? So that there's gonna be a twist at the end of this, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe he really did have a different mask back then, but I feel like there's something more to it, maybe. This is still consistent with what Balan became. You know, he is a teacher now. And it's pretty, like, 99% sure he's got to be Balan. But what if he's not, right? That's what I'm kind of banking on. Bye-bye. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you were so fond of your master like this and you left... Yeah, I would feel the same way. Confirm the face. It's fucking photo photo. Oh my god, you got the wrong people. Hey, you know what I said in the beginning, how this, you know, the skills matches up like really well with Furu Furu. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. I fucking knew I get baited too. Whatever. Man, Furu Furu was that? Also. I mean, all he did was scam Jazz and Alucard, so I'm thinking, you know, how he was such a nice person. Yeah, like how he was such a nice person. You should embrace your voice and all that. Maybe Furufuru does have that side. We should explain this, but I don't think Sabro and Azaz even totally understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Balam loves it. I mean, even Furufuru to an extent. No, he just likes seeing, you know, yeah, Jazz and Al Alucard, like, suffer. <laughs> All he cares about is just partying and then just, like, scamming Alucard and Jazz. That's it. One of the three heroes, remember. Furufuru is a hero. It's hard to believe that because of what we've seen from him so far. He's not very serious. All he does is scam Jazz and Alucard. So it's hard for me to think that, holy shit, he's one of the three great heroes. But I'm sure... That's why he is one of the three great heroes. We're not going to see why he's a hero right now. They got to, like, show us a character that doesn't really seem like one. And then later, it's like, holy shit, he actually is. Full volume wailing. Wait, I know how to beat this. Just have some earplugs in. Wouldn't that just negate this entirely? I wonder if this would rile up the beasts around. It does. So it can make them go berserk? I forgot the counter. Did anyone remember how many times we hit that thing? What if we both forgot and we're like, shit. Is this the Hunter Strike? <laughs> well... I wouldn't say that. Oh, he's getting upset at this. Not really, not in specific, but Irima is part of the grunts I guess if he goes to school. <laughs> oh. That's like a baseball. <laughs> That's a pitch. Azaz, is he gonna show us something new? Wait, the ponytail's coming off! Wait, 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 what is this? Does he go like a- Does he have like a new Berserk mode? Evil Cycle Unleashed! Wait! You can just do it? Oh my god, oh shit, he's gonna look so cool, dude! Oh! He can just at will release his Evil Cycle? Please, stay on the fight. Don't give me a cliffhanger. How are you able to... <laughs> she looks so elegant while being in the evil cycle. Oh my god. Man, I love evil cycles so much. I wish everybody could be in their evil cycle mode a lot of the times, but... <laughs> Damn. They wouldn't be as special, right? I think he's like summoning some kind of like flame sword too. He's getting like... Just orbs of flame magic whenever he wants. Also, remember, you gotta pop the collar. <laughs> huh? what, what, what's that Olympic event? It's not a shot put. Is it a discus? I forgot. There's like a thing where you swing around like this too. Okay. Vino. What does Vino mean? I don't know, but he looks pretty elegant while being berserk. I, I want to see Sabro in his evil cycle. I don't know, how did he do it? He just unraveled his hair and he opened up his collar. Oh! We can take some to activate it. Give it to Iruma. Actually, it wouldn't work with Iruma. It's a bit different because he's not a demon. Ali had to 
Do something special for Iruma. Willingly unleash your evil cycle by training under the medication. Now, this is some performance enhancing drugs, man. <laughs> Balance like you making them take drugs to get drunk. <laughs> I'm sure they're like safe, right? But <laughs> come on, Balance. <laughs> Motherfucker giving his students in school like drugs to stay. <laughs> this would be a lawsuit in the making. <laughs> but it looks so cool. I love this. I wish everyone could do this. The demon of virtue and destruction. Not seduction, that's uh, his mom. Oh, his. More punching. Maybe I was looking. Dude, look at the way he's walking. Look at the way he's walking. This is actually terrifying. But at the same time, so elegant, right? He's supposed to be in this berserk state. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? You're supposed to, you know, give me the next part of the joke. I already said who's there! Is he- Sub! Wait, 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 We can't- I, I almost forgot for a second. Like, we're gonna get disqualified. <laughs> oh. Both- both can't go berserk mode. Yeah, then who's- who's gonna try to, you know, help each other? Iruma? Something about Iruma? Yeah, it is. Of course it is. Man, look at him about to go Chidori on their asses! Come on! <laughs> Buzzword. There he is. That smile. That smile, man. Every time Sullivan sees a smile, he's like, Oh, my grandson! <laughs> and then he goes to sleep, or he's just completely back? <laughs> to be his right-hand man. <laughs> Hell yeah. So is he gonna now... Button up his collar and tie his hair back up to signify that he's back to normal. <laughs> it's always like this. Well, not always, but whenever Sabro and Azaz are together, it's Sabro, you know, like keeping Azaz under control. And to an extent, even like the one that's almost like a leader in this position. There are definitely the rivals. Wait, why are they in the app? Wait, they cut the apple. Okay, we got it. Okay. I'm like, I thought they were in the apple for a second. But again, I, I think Sabra really seems to be the more mature one of the two. And that's the episode. God damn, you guys are right. This this episode was gonna be OD, like OD. Yeah, it, it was. Man, the one thing I want to see more of, other than Azaz even go harder and show us like more of his like Berserk style uh, than their evil cycle is Sabra! evil cycle i want to see everybody's evil cycle but this is like a special mode that you can't really show everybody right and for a second i always forgot remember in shonen series how there's like these power-ups like super saiyan or like bankai different modes i forget evil cycle pretty much is that right it's it's so cool but we gotta save it we gotta save it and one at a time i'm sure we're gonna be even more surprised in the future episodes but hey if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists on my channel if you watch another Another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube algo push out my small channel to recommend us so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.